All right, guys, this little, I guess, series is gonna be a little bit different. It's gonna be, a, it's gonna try to hit a lot of ponds in the city, see if they got bass. I know a few of them that have bass, but the point is to catch the bass. So we're gonna see if we can go to, you know, throughout this series, see if we can go to a bunch of little ponds in the city, see if we can get up a couple of bass. So the pond we're going to today is one I've been to before and I know that there's bass in it. So we're only gonna have a couple hours tops to fish. So this series is probably gonna be more on the vlog side of things because I'm not gonna guarantee every every pond that I go fish is gonna I'm gonna be catching fish, right? Or even a lot of fish. So let's go see if we can get on some of these these urban ponds. Here we're gonna head to the first spot. It's just a little inlet of water, fresh water coming in. So bait fish will congregate around that. And obviously predator fish like bass and pike. I don't think there's pike in here, but they'll hang out there too because obviously that's where the food is. So that's the plan. That's what we're gonna go with right now. First bite. See if we can get him back. Eat it like you should. Decent pond fish right there. On the board. So the jig. Hey, one on the Senko. Decent one. Not a bad pond fish. Starting to spit. Well, at least we know there's bass here.
he wasn't coming out. on a little note. Maybe there's another one. Maybe we could try to be greedy. Decent one. Little chunk. Alright guys, packing it up now. Well, I would definitely recommend this lake for anyone who can't get out on a big water, doesn't have a boat or anything like that. Definitely a healthy supply of fish in here. Got some people looking at me while I talk to myself. <laughs> Alright, so before we pack up, I'm just going to show you what I caught on. First couple fish. It's on the green Sanko. Got the O-ring there, weightless. It's got a nice slow flutter down. And they couldn't resist it, even the little guys. Next thing, which definitely we caught the most on, three or four, is this tiny little jig with the grub tail on the back and it's stinky too but uh, right at the end of the day they couldn't resist it just dropping it right into a little deep pocket under some trees they just couldn't say no that right there is definitely what I got the most action on a little jig I think it's called the little bug or something like that so for anyone coming to smaller ponds like this I would definitely say to start with your bait downsize as small as you think you can go if you start catching more sizable fish then okay so most of my bites were coming off close to the shoreline like I was fishing the shore but I was casting parallel to the shore other than tiny little nibbles I didn't get anything out in the middle that that lake is par lake I would definitely recommend that if you, you know, for the younger audience who maybe don't have a vehicle or you don't have money to rent a boat, get out on the big lakes. So, you know, I'm going to keep doing little, this little series, urban pond fishing. This will be volume one. I think we had a good start. So, I'm going to keep doing it, hit little ponds, uh, you know, throughout the city, Brampton. Maybe a few in Mississauga, maybe some in Toronto. Let's see if we can't get any sizable fish out of these ponds. So I'm doing this, these are just, you know, going after work, a couple hours a night, you know, just to upload some content for you guys, anyone who's watching. I appreciate it. If you like these, these videos and my other kayaking videos, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be trying to put up a lot. Like I said, a lot of content, so... Stay tuned for the next one, Volume 2.